viewers, welcome to today's episode of Women's View. It's always a pleasure to have you with us and uh, especially when you interact with us, we're very encouraged and please remember to do so. Our SMS line is 21144 and we're also live on Facebook. The handle is GBS Kenya. Thank you so much. And uh, today in studio, I've got three guests and I'm so privileged to have them with me today. My name is Anne Moremi and I'm your host. The topic today is challenges in the music industry. Welcome and enjoy yourselves. I'd like to give this opportunity to the guests in the studio to introduce themselves and I'll start with uh, the lady on the extreme right. Welcome. Thank you so much. Hello viewers. My name is Monica Ngugi. I'm born again. I love Jesus Christ as my personal savior. Um, a mother of four, married to Michael Ngugi, and the Lord has blessed us with four kids. I serve in the Papa Center Church along Mombasa Road, opposite Samia Park. Uh, I serve in the outreach and uh, missions team, and also the Daughters of Papas. Welcome to the Thank show. You. It's such a pleasure to have you. Okay, I'd like the gentleman in studio to also introduce himself. Karibu sana. Sante sana. Yes. Shalom, shalom. Eh, kwa majina ni naituwa Kikusil Mulenda. Nimeokoka Yesu Kristo ni buwana na mokozo wa maisha yangu. Mimi ni mwanafunzi wa Yesu Kristo na mtumishi wa mungu. Na ninatumikia mungu wapa Nairobi katika kanisa ambalo ni naituwa eh, New Destiny Christian Church hapo kayole ndio mali ambapo mimi ni naudumu kwenye madhabao mimi ni mwimbaji wa nyimbo za injili na mhubiri wa injili katika neno shalom shalom karibu sana Asante. tuko na furaha sana kwa sababu we umetoka Kongo na upi umeishi Tanzania na leo uko Kenya Amen. karibu sana Kenya Asante sana and uh, the lady also on my right karibu hello viewers my name is Caroline Mlobi i serve at Friends Church as a praise and worship leader Quakers, which is the Antasia Pipeline. Welcome to the show. Yeah. It's a real great pleasure to have you all here. And you're all gospel artists. Yeah. And you know, I am so happy to be in the presence of people who have written music, people who can sing, people who are musicians, people who have recorded. Mm -hmm. And I always say that, especially in this age of digitalization, you already have left a legacy because your work is on YouTube. Mtu akitaka nikisikia nime miss Monica na labda naweza mpigia simu ama naweza enda to YouTube niandike Monica Ngugi and voila. That is really awesome. So you're really blessing us with your gifts and your talents. Na Mungu awabariki sana. Amen. Sasa kigusile tuambie uh when did you know that you have a talent in uh, in music? Mimi Siwezi nikakumbuka vizuri lakini ninajua tu nilianza kuimba nikiwa mtoto mdogo sana. Uh -huh. And uh, nikikumbuka vizuri kuanzia ma miaka saba hapo, uh -huh. nane, hapo nilianza kujua kama ninaweza nikafanya kitu. Yes. Sababu nilianza kukua na groups mtaani na kusanya watoto nikiona vile wanavyofanya watu wakubwa kanisani inakuja na mimi mtaani inaonda kuna <laughs> unarudia <laughs> yeah, ninaanza kukompose ninafundisha ukiwa miaka 7 ulikuwa unaweza kukompose yeah. wow na tunaanza kuimba unaona mm -hmm. so kwa hiyo period ndo watu wazima waliona kile nilikuwa ninafanya okay. alafu sasa ilikuwa trick kwa sababu nilikuwa ninafanya watu wazima wakianza kuandaa nyimbo nifo uh -huh. waanze kuperform mimi ninaanza kuziperform kwa mtaa <laughs> sasa ikawa inawapatia challenge yes. ikabidi wanitoe mtaani waningize kanisani ile group yangu kwa sababu ya kusecure kile ambacho walikuwa wanakifanya pale ah. na ndo nilianza sasa kuimba kwa kwaya ya msingi pale kanisani mm -hmm. paka vile nilingro kanisani yes ikakuwa mtu mzima nikajikuta nimeingia katika dunia tena uh -huh. nikapiga secular music ah au kuna album pia za secular yeah nilifanya album ya secular music uh -huh. nikaendelea na secular music mpaka 2013 na, na mbili mwisho mm -hmm. mwisho nikapata ajali uh, kwa hiyo ajali kufika 2013 mm -hmm. ilibidi niokoke kwa sababu sikukuwa na otherwise utatuambia utatuambia yeah. abo naona kuna hadithi <laughs> All right. Uh, karibu sana. So, uh jewe wewe dada Monica, ulikuwa wa, uli, where did you grow up and when did you discover kwamba kuna hicho kipawa cha uimbaji? Okay. Um born and bred 
not so far from the city. Mashinani mm -hmm. uh, to Nairobi yes. County. Yeah, <laughs> I, would say, I mean, I okay. think it's uh, Kajiado County. Kisirian is Kajiado or Nairobi? It's Kajiado. Uh, Kajiado, but, but neighbors. Neighbors. Bod Bod uh, borderline. Yeah, uh, in the borderline. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so I thank God for that. Uh, I was born there, raised there. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, all, I think all my life, I mean, I was born in Kimba. I was born in Sunday school. Every Sunday, I was born in Kimba. You know, them days to go to Navasandak, I make sure they were very, you know, shiny. Uluko na zipaka kitu? Hey, Iso Valon? Eh, unapaka mafta. Valon? Eh, ina shiny. Eh, hey, diyo. Ati Valon. Valon. Vaseline. Ilikuwa, ili angombe. Ah, Aremis. Yes, Aremis. Aremis is, is long, 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 long time ago. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, so, so ulitua ulikuwa na pikiru, tazimu ulikuwa na jipaka migu. Kumbi ulikuwa na paka migu na biatu? Mshaini. Yeah, ndiyo tu shaini. You know, as we are going to present ourselves uh, before the nice. Lord. Oh. Yes, and I made sure I'm very smart. Lakini lazima ninge imba Sunday. Uh -huh. I used to, to be in church maybe by seven, ndiyo niombe. We were going to PCA, uh -huh. so I used to be there on time so that I can be able to, you know, to ask for an opportunity to minister. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, and of I course. used to sing like every Sunday until now. Oh, and you know, I hey, okay. uh, this is an, a bit unfair. Us, we never get a chance because you get to church so early. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but I composed oh. my first song when I was in, I think, class five. Wow. Yeah, but I forgot. Because mm -hmm. you didn't write it. I didn't write. You just kept repeating and repeating, you know, but you forgot to write. And mm. then, you know, you know, in, in a sound oh, poor. That's nice. Yeah, and then I forgot. <laughs> evo, okay. evo. And then uh, now I, comp I I recorded my first song in 2009. Wow. When you were how old? Uh, well, Do you remember? But I was married. You were married then. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Let's come to Caroline. Caroline, tell us a little bit about where you grew up and uh, whether you wanted to be a musician when you were young or how you ended up being a musician. First of all, I was born in Kakamega. So mm -hmm. after Kakamega, we moved to Nakuru, Njoro. Yes. Whereby we used to attend church in, uh, in there in Njoro called Church of God. Mm -hmm. So whenever I used to go there, we started this Sunday school thing and I was told you'll be leading Sunday school. We did the choirs and uh, I was the leader of that choir and we were number one. So everyone was you, like... There was a competition? Yes. Where? Uh, in Nakuru. Wow. Uh, How old county. were you? I was uh, in class six, so that was 12, 13. So you tasted uh, victory and winning when you were young? Yeah. Oh, so wow. So after good. that, I continued. When I finished uh, class eight, I joined the secondary. I continued singing in CU. Mm -hmm. So after that, uh, it, the life was very hard. I couldn't continue singing. Mm -hmm. I stopped even going to church yeah what happened i couldn't join college i was so frustrated okay. because of some family, some issues. family issues so okay. i had to go to garissa mm -hmm. to join uh, to do some few, few things uh, business to work, no? to work to work as a housemaid mm. after my form four and I you had it. studied all the way to form four yes. and passed yes i had got a b Wow. So I couldn't join college because... And you could actually join university, but you didn't... There was the challenges that yeah. made you... Okay. So I couldn't join the uh, university, so mm -hmm. I went there. And I did somehow... I became a housemaid, so mm -hmm. in that housemaid I found money, so I went to school mm -hmm. and secured a job here in Nairobi. So after that... You I actually educated yourself. Yes. Well I done. I used to go to school uh, after... When the children close, mm -hmm. I go to school with Wanane. Oh yes, Waki Walikizo. Yeah, uh -huh. Walikizo during holidays. Then I was done with my college. Then just my friend... How many years did it take you to do that? Oh, four years. That is uh, quite a short time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. But that lady was really nice. Uh, yeah. Are you still in touch? Yes. Ah. <laughs> a shout out to her wherever she is. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for giving her the opportunity. Yeah. And actually that's what we're saying, that yeah. uh, not all of us can be musicians, mm -hmm. but I remember Kigusile, you talked about kila mtu anakipa wachake. Yeah. And whatever your, your talent is, or whatever it is that God has blessed you with, you can use it to bless another. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about, uh, you talked about an accident that made you uh, change the, your style of music uh, mm. from, from secular to gospel. What is it that happened? Yeah, uh, it's happened when I was doing uh, production. Mm -hmm. I had a company. Nilikuwa nimekuwa na company yangu ya kuproduce mm -hmm. our local artists. Ah. Ambao kama 
nikiona fulani ndo ameeat siku hizi mhm yeah nina deal na wewe yeah. pay you the man alafu ninakupeleka mahali mm-hmm. na perform ile yote ya mlango inaweka mfukoni yote so, e, si nimeshakulipa nimeshakulipa <laughs> 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 sababu mlikuwa mmekubaliana yeah, malipo takwai e, wote niambia unataka kiwango gani cha pesa uh-huh. kiwango chochote utakacho niambia ninaangalia kama nitafua ninakulipa uh-huh. then nina the balance inakuwa eh, the the yako <laughs> nitakupeleka vizuri sana uh-huh. nitakupeleka una produce pale ukiperform watu wanakuja ile ya mlango na mimi pia ninafanya nini unapokea ninaweka sasa mm-hmm. sasa road na show moja pale mhm uh-huh. um, nilipofika ma ilikuwa mwaka 2012 eh uh-huh. 2012 yes yeah na kumbuka ilikuwa november yes mwisho mwisho wa mwaka ndo nikiwa pale nje na mabouncers nikipanga kazi jinsi itaenda kwa sababu ilikuwa imefika ma midnight mm-hmm. naona hapo ndo show inazaka kukua Kupika. sasa interest eh. watu wanaanza kukamu eh. so walipanda jamaa mmoja ambaye anafanya kazi kwenye ile eneo ili aweze kutengeneza light as mm-hmm. kwa poa so alipopanda juu alipanda na switch ya stima ilikuwa on akapiwa show na stima akarushwa akakuja kanyangukia nikavunjika mguu hakufa lakini hakufa na wala kuumia wewe ndio uliumia on the <laughs> Ni kama alikuwa amekulenga. Yaani mtu anapanda juu, alafu yeye anapata shock anakutime. Ana Imagine. <laughs> Na because of you can protect you. Wewe sasa wewe ndio ukaumia. Kitu cha kushangaza siku kwa peke yangu, I was alone. Nilikuwa na three bouncers. Wao oh, hawaku waliko nguo sata mmoja. Ni peke yangu. Mm-hmm. Nikazikuta niko chini oh, baadaye yeah. nikaona kumbe mguu ulivunjika. Hiyo <laughs> impact ilikuwa major. Yeah. Yeah. Ajua mtu amerushwa na steam toka juu na sina siku kuwa chini ilikuwa distance ah. yani alirushwa tu kama ndege na dema airport <laughs> so nilichukuta nimevunjika nguo kwenda hospitali kakataa kuvunjika upona after that nikajaribu wa watu wa kienyeji so unajua ni kutoka ah, kwenye gari mtu wa dunia ninaamini wale waganga wanaweza kafanya vitu nikatafuta ile wakaanza kuni massage kufanya vitu zozote pale lakini haikuwezekana Mhm. Demo alikuwa anafanya treatment, demo mguu ilikuwa inazidi kuharibika inakonda, inakonda, inakawa uhum. kama mkono. So nilikuwa nilifika kwenye state ambayo mguu ilikuwa kama mtu mwenye mtoto akupigwa polio, shindano la polio akiwa ndo. So hivyo ndio ilikuwa. Lakini wakati baada ya muda mchache kufika 2013, hii wakati wa elections. Ndio. Pale nikawa maeneo ya migori huko eneo linaloitwa Kokoro nilikuwa nina tibiwa kule. Mm-hmm. Nikapigiwa simu na dada mmoja kama kuna ishu ya mtu mwenye alienda kanisani na wao yeye akasema kwamba anajua au hii nilipata ya accident ya penaji na wao wamehusika kitu kama hiki cha uchawi. Kweli? Ya vitu kama hizo. Ah, so, no wonder ilikuwa imelenga kweli kweli. Eh ndio maana alikuwa ameshoot vizuri hakukuwa <laughs> na wanabatisha. So nilitoka kule nikija na Nairobi nitafutane na ule dada kuja aniponye. Mm. So nikaona ilikuwa kumbe ni mpango wa Mungu. Yule dada alikimbilia kwa mchungaji. Ah. Alipokimbilia kwa mchungaji fulani ndo tulimfuata kule. Ilikuwa uh-huh. na kundi la walevi wenzangu tukienda kumtafuta kule ili tu deal na yeye proper hapo. Jaribu kuponya au mguu asipoponya nituvunje nivunje yeye mguu mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa natembea na nyondo hiyo. <laughs> Ulikuwa mpangia kweli. Nilipanga vizuri sana. So, nilipofika pale kwenye alikimbilia kwa mchungaji, ndio mchungaji akaniambia nitakupatia, mtaondoka naye lakini kidogo unisikilize. Mm. Akaniambia unajua huyu anaweza roga na ziponye lakini ninaweza nikakombea Mungu akapokea. Mungu ni mkuu kumbe. So, niliposikia hivyo nikaona tu moyo wangu ile jazba mm. imeshuka. Mm. So, I tell them let, let me pray, let me, let me try this code mm. kwa sababu nilikuwa nimesafa a lot na hiyo. Na hiyo ugonjwa, magonjwa haya. So niliamua kuombea na nikawa ninaenda kwenye maombi every Friday eh, Tuesday Thursday na Sunday ninaenda ibadani hapo ndo nilikuja kujikuta umepona nimepona na nikaona tu in that short time kama nilikuwa nime lose my life mm. sababu ule mtu hakukua na hakukua na haja ya mguu alikuwa na haja ya nikufi ndio mm. so alianguka alianguka vibaya kwa sababu Mungu alikuwa ananip protect yes. mm. so after that baada kuona wameshindwa kuniua wakawa na mpango nikate mguu Bas. Mungu akalinda na mguu nikasema mm. kumbe ule Mungu ni mzuri sana Ah, Acha that's how sasa uka decide kumwimbia ku, ku, ku yani yes. siku siku decide kuimba yes. kwa sababu after kuokoka nilikataa uimbaji na nikachukia oh. muziki total kwa sababu ulikuwa unafanya ukiwa gizani hey, na nilikuja ah. nikaona kama muziki ndo chanzo cha maovu yote ambayo nimefanya katika dunia ah. ilikuwa ninafanya evaluation ya life yangu nikakuja kukuta kwamba kila kitu kibaya ambacho nimekifanya duniani kujua mganga kuna link 
na unaona hiyo yote imetoka na ulevi yeah. unaona masigara mm. yote ilitokanaga na music wakati nilianza mm. ka music so nilichukia music mm. na nikamwambia Mungu nisaidie nifungulie mlango fulani alafu nianze kufanya kazi yoyote ambayo inaweza weka kitu kwa meza sawa so, sawa nimesikia that's a very very yeah. inspiring and so, then after that Mr. Mungu akaniambia kumbuka ukiwa mtoto mdogo you used to sing for me yes eh ndio so, mimi ndo nilikupatia hiyo talent juu yangu unifanyie yeah. kazi yes. right now utarudi sasa kunitumikia na nitakubariki aha ndo nilianza sasa kufanya gospel music baada ya okovu si kufanya music nilianza kukoka kwanza ndo nikaanza sasa kufanya music pia yes yeah. dada caroline what is your experience uh, why do you sing what is it that inspires you to to sing when to write music and to produce with me i don't just write music my music it's very funny whenever i sleep i just wake up with um with me singing and mm. whenever i sing that song i write it down mm -hmm. and when i write it down i go to the studio then i write it mm -hmm. my inspiration i just love whenever i sing i love touching people mm -hmm. that when i go anywhere to sing i don't just sing because others are singing yes because i need that music whenever there is someone there i may discourage you there's someone there who is looking for a job he can't find it there's someone there ambaye ni yatima analia so whenever you sing that music na naisikia ina uzito that ni huanga maybe hata kama haja change mm -hmm. usually changes yeah yes so my music i just i just want I, the, every day i wake up i tell god whenever i sing my music let like it touch someone yes yeah. and uh, you know you knew um monica you knew how that you could sing from when you were very young yeah. but then you took quite a long time to record because yeah. you said that you recorded your first song when you were married yes what is the challenge that you were facing around the time from because for you you knew that you could sing from when you were very young yes. why didn't you record sooner what is it th what is that challenge that was there that caused you not to record i think um maybe exposure mm -hmm. yeah i was not that exposed to yes. know that i could, i could sing actually me thought mm. those nikisikiza radio songs kwa radio yes. au watu wako hapo ndani when i was a small girl <laughs> yes. yeah so i think exposure uliko na ile desire wewe pia wewe kuingia hapo ndani ndio pia wewe no that that came later <laughs> Okay. When now I grew up now I understood now you knew yeah when I grew up now I understood and uh, of course I was preparing myself I think I was just uh, it's God's timing yes. yeah because I wouldn't say it was chal money challenge or anything mm -hmm. I just I think it was the timing of God yes yeah the appropriate time and I think that was the appropriate time because yeah. I think God had uh, by the time I was recording God had really prepared me mm. whatever I was saying yes it was from God yes for me i don't struggle to write songs mm -hmm. i i just i just sing in a, as in in a talk at me what happens do you go through a situation or do you remember something or do you decide today i'm going to write a song and una scan una andika how is that process uh it's wide mm -hmm. it's 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 wide okay. because there's a time uh, like now um uh, i told you i'm a mother of four two yes. girls and two boys yes my first born is 13 years she's in class 8 mm. Wow. She's she's also a gospel artist. She oh. has an album. She's on She YouTube. has an album. Yes. And you know what? Uh -huh. You've talked about exposure. Yeah. The fact that you didn't have exposure, uh -huh. you have exposed her. Yes. Because for her to have an album when she's that young, yes. it means we when you were <laughs> behind her supporting her. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, and my second born also is an artist. She really? has an album. Wow. <laughs> yes. So we are a singing family. Yes, you are. My third born is a uh, yeah cuz alizaliwa na migu mbili ya left so he can't dance he just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh -huh. he's he's uh He's, he plays the drums. Anything he's And you know that he's very good for the drums because yes. you're able to coordinate to be yes. because of him. So the last music. one is a worshiper. He, he jumps wow. up and down. Yes. Kazi yake ni kuimba ama to flow with the people singing. <laughs> he can sing along, he can uh, yeah, he can sing along, he can just create some And your husband sound. is he a musician? I'm the one who, yes. who supports all of you. <laughs> My husband also apparently God just joined me with someone who is in my, my our marriage is a marriage of destiny I would mm -hmm. say mm -hmm. because my husband I found my I met my husband in church he was ah. a director of music oh. that was in 2 no 99 yes. was it 
to the early 2000. Okay. That is when I met Is it that you look young or you married early? Because you have a child who is 13, you got married in 99. And when I look at no, you... I was married in 2003. Oh, married in 2003. But yes. you met him in 99. Yes. Oh, okay. Late 99, but you look officially young. it is early 2000. Okay. And uh, our journey mm -hmm. is a journey of music. We met in church. Yes. He was, uh, he was a director of the... Uh, music. Music, director of music in the church yes. and the leader of the prison worship. Uh -huh. So me, I joined. Yes. Na vibes to the kanza to come from Logo Logo. Yeah. And uh, the rest is history. The rest is history. Yes. <laughs> so our seed is a seed born in music. Yes. I would say. Yes. And you can see all your children are actually flowing in that direction. Yes. yes. So how would you react if your child came and told you that they want to be a musician? Because our, our parents, uh, or, uh, old, our older parents sometimes yeah. would be very opposed to that idea. Yeah. Would you be okay if, let's say, your last born or one of your children said they want to do music from high school and university? Would you be okay with that? Yes, I would because they're already in it. They're already in it. They are actually. flowing ah. in it. Yeah. For them to have albums? Yes, they have albums. Wow, that means they have got through. They've gone through the entire experience of writing, recording. They can even do live music. Wow. Like uh, we had a we had an album launch. Mm -hmm. It was dubbed uh, Ma "Mom and Daughters Triple nice. Lounge." We were al we were launching our albums. The three of you. Yeah, my fourth album, my 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 uh, my daughter's my first born was launching her first album, mm -hmm. and my second born her first album. Wow, we you did need to come it to all of you with them. <laughs> So we, we were launching them on, on the same day. day. Yes. Yeah. So it was. Uh, it was. You 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 can you can tell it is not something you are forcing them because mm, I remember yes. like we were given a chance mm -hmm. at the Papa Center Church to yes. present, uh -huh. and they were I don't know the media guys apparently our quorum prepare poor because we gave them the audios like two weeks before the mm -hmm. event. But on the on the on the on the day of the event, mm -hmm. they were not ready. Yes. So we were given a chance to sing. My daughters are standing on the pulpit, and they are supposed to start singing, yes. and the, the, audio the audio is not playing. Uh -huh. So my daughters did sing. they freeze? They didn't. They are used to the to crowds. I know. So they just started singing live music, and they led the church into worship. Wow! And I remember when I was going out, so many people came to me, and they were saying, "Wow, that was for me." I know. I remember a certain lady came to me crying, and she was telling me. God brought me today to just be ministered by you. They have mm. really ministered to me. Wow. So I thank God for that. That is amazing. Yes. Carol, I know that you also are in the worship, praise and worship ministry in your church. Uh, how did you join? Because I'm very interested in your story because first of all, you had a challenge and you put yourself through uh, college while you were working as a house help. And then when you finished, where did you get a job? I got a job at G Insurance where okay. I am today. Uh -huh. yes. So you've actually stayed there for quite a for while. Six years now. Wow. Yeah, and I love that place. It so has really made me grow. That's awesome. But then, at what point then did the music come in? Music. I just started music uh, last year, January. Ah, uh, and you already have an album. Yes. In one year, you got an album, and you had more than one video. The songs are. I have more than a hundred songs in the book. Oh? Oh, that you've written. Yeah, that I've written. What I usually do, I just wake up with a song and I just write in a book. I write in a book. So we were, we had gone for fasting and at there at uh, Boretta. Mm -hmm. So someone just suggested, so we can sing. And it was, yes, we can sing. We started four of us. Mm -hmm. But at the end, I just remained one. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the others fell along the way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I continued. I recorded the album. My album, when I went to church, it happened like this. We had a monthly meeting for us. We many, uh, yani, all the churches gather in one place. So they came to church and... Uh, we took uh, we want a testimony. So I stood up and I sang my song just live, mm -hmm. and it was like, where is the CD we buy? <laughs> it's coming this Friday. The next Sunday when I come to church, I'll come with it. So many people bought the CD without. <laughs> wow! You didn't yeah. even plan. Yeah, wow. it was Good just a you. testimony. Then I sang the song Same Anami. I love that song. Uh -huh. Then uh, everybody was like, give us the CD. Everybody paid the money. Oh wow! But I didn't, didn't have the CD. <laughs> so I had to go back to studio to tell to the, produce. the producer, give me the CD because everyone is asking for the CD. The CD. <laughs> the CD. You know that is very very good mm -hmm. and it's very different from this other situation where maybe you go for a wedding mm -hmm. and then somebody sings and then now when they sing they want to force you to buy the CD. Yeah. 
You know that is very different. Mm -hmm. This other uh, approach where you actually sing, you don't even have the seed. People are asking for it. Yeah. That is definitely the better option. Because Abu Unajo was really on a sema, Chema, Chajuza. I'm a Sindio? Yeah, Kizuri Kinajuza. Aha. So tell us about you. Oh, Kona albums Ningi. Aya Kwanza, how did you do you remember the first one? Uh, yeah, uh, something that I remember is that uh, when I started, wakati uh, nilipata hiyo wajali, hata uchumi wangu ulienda down. Ndiyo. So, siku kuwa poa kwa sababu kipindi chochote ambacho nilikuwa na zile shows, hakuna hata moja ambayo ilifanya vizuri, hizote zile haribika. Nikawa kama vile ni meanza life zero. So, na wakati mungu anakuambia kwamba mba ninataka unitumikie kupitia wimbaji kwa sababu mindo niloeka ndani mwako. Mhmm. Ikabidi na mimi nikaanza kuweka Mungu kwenye mitihani kwa vipimo nikamwambia kama unataka nikutumikie kupitia uimbaji mm -hmm. now that uh, sina kitu mm -hmm. ndo nataka unifungulie mlango kwa kipindi hiki na nianze ku record so nilikuwa ninaomba tu nisijue Mungu atajibu kwa njia gani but mm -hmm. one day Mungu alituma mtu ambaye alikuwa ametoka Australia mm -hmm. akasikia wametaja jina langu. Uko Yeah, Mungu oh, anafanya. <laughs> <laughs> alikuwa ametoka mbali. Kwetu ni mbali lakini kwake si ni hapa tu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. So alisikia somewhere wanataja the mention my name. Mm -hmm. Kigusil, in fact kulikuwa girl mambo alikuwa na lady mwenye alikuwa na didai CD mm -hmm. za comet fulani. Okay. So kona akataja jina langu. Alafu jamaa kauliza Kigusil eh? kigusile mgani ambayo unamuita the same kigusile ambayo kwa naimba siki la music mm -hmm. na mesha okoka sasa sa hizi na natumikia munga can you call him for me okay. eni hakuwa na kujua hakuwa na nijua amkuwa mla atini ah. atu kukuwa na connections yozote <laughs> okay. so walisikiaka tu ujina kigusile maybe somewhere yeah. uko na kasikia wameitaja mahali na nimeokoka kanita ndo tukaja tukakutana na ye mm -hmm. akaniuliza vipi mbona umeni umesikia umeokoka kulikuwaje nikamwambia mm -hmm. ile testimony yangu vile kulikuwa kwa urefu unajua kama mtu ngali umeokoka ile nguvu ya kushuhudia inakuwa ndio kwanga vile ina hope kama wakristo wangekuwa na beba unajua <laughs> actually ukiwa yeah, new kama, christian new convert <laughs> kama wakristo wangekuwa wanatumia the same, same spirit yeah. ya ule upendo wa kwanza <laughs> yeah. mtumshuhudie vile kweli uchenzi dunia ni kitu kidogo sana Aki, lakini nafikaka really. wakati tukiingia katika ukovu tunazoea Mungu hatutaki tena kufanya kile ambacho ametuitia sasa tunaanza kutaka vitu sasa unaona so wakati aliponiita nikao ninamshuhudia na passion mm -hmm. ndivyo kulikapata ajali bwana mm -hmm. nikavunjika mbu mm -hmm. kipindi kile alikuta kwanza niko natembea vibaya niko na kokota kabisa mbu Bas. so akawa anacheka sana na ile shuhuda yangu akamwambia sawa ndo yeye sasa kajetu akajinchujuzi kwangu akaniambia hata sisi tunakuwa na bendi mm -hmm. ya familia yetu hapo Australia hivi na ndo mimi nikajua kumbe ah, ametokea Australia mm -hmm. kwa nilikuwa naongea na yeye aungeweza kujua kama ametoka Australia very yes. simple yeah. young man yeah so kampatia namba yangu nikaruti morning kesho yake akanipigia simu joto mita akaniambia Mungu ameweka mzigo ndani yangu nisitoke hapa tutafanya wimbo tukafanya na yeye wimbo moja yenye ambao tuliuanzia studio unaona mm -hmm. siku kwa nimekompozi wimbo kwa sababu mimi siku kwa ready na mambo kama nayo so yeah. wakati alisema tufanye kitu nikakuja kujua yeye ni mtu wa shosho mm -hmm. and uh, mimi pia ni, ni mtu wa shosho unaona mm -hmm. nikasema sasa tutafanya kitu acha mm -hmm. twende to studio i have a guy who is a friend of mine mm -hmm. a producer yes. anaitwa dj ikwe mm -hmm. tukaenda kwake nikamwambia kwa ndugu yangu tunataka tufanye naye kitu tutengeneze beat fulani akatoa idea wewe ni Mungu wangu wewe ni Mungu in fact huo wimbo nilianzaka kuona ukisiku pelekaka kwa tv yote lakini <laughs> niliona kwa kichezo hapa GBS ah oh, kweli captain na watu ndio alianza kwa ulipeleka si mimi wimbo na tulikaa tu tu nikakuta huko hapa hivi na <laughs> Hapo wow. kwanza kiangalia kigusile kidogo nilikuwa ndo ngale unatoka katika dunia usani kidogo kuna ndani <laughs> au sijavunjika kujika hiyo <laughs> So wow. tukafanya hiyo wimbo yakaenda Australia akaweka hiyo nini hiyo wimbo kufika kule wimbo ukashika mm -hmm ukashika kabisa ukafungua njia akaanza kwenda kuperform maeneo mbalimbali viewers ninaona wanaongezeka day by day Um, lakini kabla hajaondoka mm -hmm. aliniambia kwamba ninataka nikusupport ufanye album. Bas. Lakini kwa sababu nimekuwa na gharama nyingi hapa na pale nilifika DRC Burundi nimespend a lot na atanitakulipia mm -hmm. wimbo mmoja but nikifika kule I can support you at least umalize album. Yes. Sawa. Kalipa wimbo moja 
nikaenda nikakompose wimbo ambao anaitwa bila kujali. Mm. Bila kujali. Bila kujali. Na kweli ni uli, so, uli fanya hiyo hapa bila kujali. Ya, bila kujali. <laughs> yaani ya, wimbo ulikuwa nasema kuhusu jinsi Mungu, yani Mungu alinipenda bila kujali jinsi nilivyokuwa. Yes. So uh, nilikuwa mlevi hakujali. Mm. Uh, mshirati hakujali. Mm. Mshirikina hakujali. Mm. Yaani na harufu ya pombe, muongo yeye hakuangalia yoyote. <laughs> Unaona akanipenda tu bila kujali. So mm. na mimi ninatengeneza mambo yangu na yeye bila kujali. Ta. So ndo nikapata hiyo inspiration nilikuja na nikarekodi hiyo wimbo. Wakati ni rekodi wimbo bila kujali, kuweka hivi kakuwa confirmation. Mm. Ya kuonyesha kwamba mm, huu sio tena usani. Mm. Hii ni huduma kwa sababu ya words, maneno ambayo ilikuwa sasa ndani nimeingia sasa kiroho sasa nzuri mm. ni Biblia yenyewe ndo ninafunua sasa. Mm-hmm. Watu wakasema pana ninaonekana uliokoka uliacha music akasema of course niliokoka nilipata neema. Mm. Mungu Yesu aliniokoa mm. na nikaamua sasa kumtumikia. So, kweli. Watu wakaanza wengine wanapinga lakini wengine wakiona yale maneno ya wimbo wanasema ah kigusi alikutana na mimi. Sasa hata vile nasikia nyinyi mnaongea. Unajua topic ya leo ni challenges in music industry. Mm. Lakini hapa mimi nasikia tu testimonies. Mm. Challenges ni zipi kwa sababu eh anyway, wacha tuende break kidogo. Mm. Niwapatie muda wa kufikiria juu ya challenges. <laughs> lakini kama hakuna challenges pia ni sawa. <laughs> so viewers, thank you so much for keeping it here. We'll take a short break and join. Welcome back viewers that was so awesome. I always like it when we were in studio and uh, I'm able to confirm not that I was doubting that these indeed they can do live music and that's something that I want us to talk a- about a little. Uh, so viewers welcome back. Today's topic is challenges in the music industry and remember you can you can engage with us. We are on Facebook at GBS Kenya and also our SMS line is 21144. So Monica I want to talk about uh, a challenge that we that I think is happening now about um, lip syncing what do you, what can you talk, say about that when it comes to the music industry uh, as a challenge i just learned uh, not so long ago uh, that there are some musicians who can who can sing mm-hmm. and uh, it's like they have an interest in music yeah. but they are they don't have the ability to sing mm-hmm. Maybe because they can't follow the beat, mm-hmm. or maybe because they just don't know where to start singing. Or I, I even me, it's 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 uh, confusing because yes. if I have a talent of singing, I'm mm-hmm. supposed to flow. Exactly. I'm not supposed to struggle. Mm. If ni mungu ameni patia wimbo na fa ni wimbe bila kungangana. Kile mm-hmm. mungu amekuwezesha haungangani nacho. Exactly. Because he gives you the ability to do it mm-hmm. with ease. Yes. You're not supposed to struggle. Because it's in you. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's not something God. that is, yeah, it's not something that's b- being instilled mm-hmm. or like you're being forced to, to, to bring mm-hmm. out. Yes. It is in you. So it's just coming out. And I also have a question with, with regards to that. All music must it must you be born with it or is it something unaweza kujifunza for example like you mm-hmm. all the you've got four children and yes. all of them seem to be in music yes but mm-hmm. you talked about the last one yes him he's doing drums yes and he doesn't have an album yes is it that he's gifting i tell us about that now my question to you is is it that you must be born with it mm-hmm. or you can learn it as a skill um I believe you are born with it. Mm-hmm. But at some point, there are musicians who are born with it, but because maybe of their upbringing mm-hmm. or because of where they have been raised, yes. the way they've been raised, it, they were not uh, fully exposed to be yes. in a position to just, for example, if, you're in the, if you join the prison worship early, mm-hmm. you, you just grow in the church and yes. you're in the prison worship or you're exposed maybe to bands like mm. Gigosile, yes. it will just pop out. Because yes. we condone, we lazima it mm. at some point. Yes. Because what is in you is connecting with what you are seeing. Yes. So it, it has to, it lazima ilipuke. Yes. Yeah. But if the upbringing, umelelewa, for example, you are a musician, and maybe the kind of uh, upbringing, or maybe where you are raised, mm. umeraziwa place, and you, 
or maybe uko shago maybe u kazi tu ni kulima hakuna exposure maybe ni kulima and maybe abuse maybe wewe umeraziwa na mama wachanga mm. you know hiyo ndio you know the the, the place yenye uko ume unagurumiwa mm. haikupati the yeah yeah ya, ku, ya kuweza kujitokeza eh, nafasi ya kuweza kutokea thank yeah. you so you are not able to bring out that which god has put in you yes. and it's not because you are not gifted mm. it is because of how you the environment affects you mm. and also how you've been you are not exposed yes. but the same person who kimpeleka place kama kigusili alikuwa mm. ame the neighbors are singing there are bands all, all around you then you find it inalipukanga tu hata akiwa one year kigusile yes Je, wacha nikuulize swali hilo hilo yeah. kama hauna hiyo gift ndani yako ni muziki unajua tunafanya music katika shule ile music ya kusoma kama hai ki, kipawa hakipo unaweza tu kujifunza na uwe na hiyo talent na uweze kuandika nyimbo na uweze kurecord na uziuze na watu wazipende na unajua kitu ambacho watu wanapaswa kuelewa kwanza mm-hmm. talent mm-hmm. kipaji yes kwa Kiswahili si ndio kipaji. kipaji ni kitu cha kizalikio mm-hmm. lazima uzaliwe nacho yes. unaona yeah. kipaji si elimu ambayo unaweza enda shuleni unajifunza Ufunza. kama vile ninajifunza mathematics <laughs> unajifunza kitu kingine hapana <laughs> hata ukijifunza ile passion utakuwa una, una force mm-hmm. na ndo pale unaonaka kuna tofauti kati ya mtu ambaye ako talented mm-hmm. na someone ambaye ana trying to to force kitu ambacho anaiga kwa sababu wengine wanafanya unaona hey. kuna mtu yeye uvutiwa na hey. kile ambacho wengine wanafanya Bas. so anaisi afanye kwa sababu amevutiwa na amefurahia kile kitu huyo mm-hmm. mtu ni tofauti na mtu ambaye kitu kimo ndani mwake mm-hmm. alafu kinamuasha afanye kama vile my sister na nini anazidi kama amesema pale unaona sababu mimi nikiangalia kama mimi kigusili mm-hmm. nilianza kuimba nikiwa mdogo Ata, my sisters wana sijafunzwa dada zangu wakubwa na kaka yangu dada zangu mkubwa mmoja na kaka yangu walikuwa kitoka practice wakianza kuimba zile nyimbo zao nikisikia mara moja inabaki wakiimba ninaanza kuweka voice and mm-hmm. I, i knew how to jinsi ya kuweka voice yenye imekosekana mm-hmm. najua wameimba alto hapa huyu ameimba soprano kumekosa tena mm-hmm. nitaingiza sijui jina ya voice lakini ninajua kuiweka nikiweka paka wanashtuka wanasema kwani ulikuwa practice vipi <laughs> unaona kwa sababu kiko ndani yangu wakawa wananiambia mm-hmm. imba imba lakini kwa sababu ya utoto ninasikia ile haivu wakati mwingine yeah. unaona sasa mm-hmm. ninaenda nje ninaanza ku practice na watoto wenzangu mm-hmm. kwa hiyo nisho kitu natarajiwa kusema ni kwamba talent ni kitu ya kuzaliwa nayo yes. na hiyo ndo confusion ambayo tuko nayo katika industry mm-hmm. kwa sababu kuna watu wako na talent mm-hmm. na kuna watu wanafanya kitu kwa sababu ya influence ya yale mambo ambayo wengine wanafanya yes. sasa tukienda pale tunakuta tunakutana na zingine ambazo ni changamoto mm-hmm. azingekuwa changamoto mm-hmm. unataka ikuwe changamoto lakini sio changamoto kwa yule mwenye iko katika nini yake mm-hmm. mwenye iko kwenye talent yake unakuta yes. sio nini kuna mtu mwingine hata ukianza unaona kama mimi kigusini nilianza kujifunza gita nikiwa na umri wa miaka kumi na eh, kama tisa hapo hivi unaona mm-hmm. wakati nina, na mwalimu anakufunza nilianza kufundishwa na mwalimu mm-hmm. yule mwenye alinitoa na ile bendi yangu ile kwaya yangu nje akanipeleka kanisa so akaanza kunifundisha kunifundisha gita so unaweza imagine ni kuanzia hiyo wakati mpaka leo hii ninapigaka gita lakini siwezi kuipiga vizuri sana uh-huh. unaelewa yes na nilikuwa nangali na umri wa unajua ukiwa mtoto mdogo ndo unaweza kujifunza vitu na ujui haraka sana sio hizi yeah. vitu tunakuja kujifunza ukishakuwa mtu mzima mm. kama sasa hizi ulimi ushakuwa na mifupa yes. unaona sasa sio rahisi kushika kufanya kuwa mwepesi kufata beat vile sister amesema mm-hmm. pale kwa hiyo nikaanza kujifunza gita lakini paka wa leo nikipiga ninapiga tu inaweza kunisaidia ku compose some songs lakini yeah. siwezi kukaa kwenye performance ya watu mm-hmm. atazasa mimi nina player gita yes. unaona kwa hiyo na ukiwa na kipawa lazima pia uwe na hiyo we develop hiyo yeah. skill ama hiyo exposure Sasa, hey. ya kuweza kipa, ku, yeah. so that hiyo kipawa itokeleze yeah. Yeah. Sasa ukiangalia yeah. ninachojaribu kusema ni kwamba hiyo gita haimo ndani mwangu. Haimo. Ninajaribu kuiforce kwa sababu niko mwimbaji lakini kilicho ndani mwangu cha ukweli ni uimbaji. Ambao si struggle league yes. na siwezi nika struggle na kuimba. Uh-huh. Mimi nikisikia beat tu from nowhere nimeingi. Na nikiingia unafikiria huyu jamaa alikuwa pamoja na wao alifanya na wao. <laughs> Unaona? Sasa hiyo ndo tunaita 
talent. Yes, hiyo ni talent yeah. kweli. Na ndio maana na, na kitu kingine kinasumbua watu kutokuelewa kwamba Mungu afanye mistake. Afanye. Kazi ya Mungu imekamilika ina makosa. Ndio. Kile chenye yako kupatia, alikipatia mtu mwingine. Mm. Kile chenye hajapatia mtu mwingine, amekupatia wewe. Mm -hmm. Sasa kutokuelewa ya kwamba hiki nilicho nacho kinahitaji kile chenye uko nacho. Ndio, lazima tufanye kazi pamoja. Yeah. Sasa wewe kuliko support mm. kile kilicho ndani mwangu unataka kilicho ndani mwangu kiame kikwe cha kwako sasa ukifanyie kazi kizi kikatoka ama, ama kifa hata heri kihame kife eh, eh. hata heri kihame ili tu angalau itakuwepo na wewe utakuwepo <laughs> unataka kife eh. <laughs> sasa na, na sasa hivi in the gospel environment kweli hiyo mm. ni changamoto for Iko sure sana. umepata do you find that challenge for example sister caroline yes mm -hmm. Time, whenever we go, nini, it's same you go for an event. Mm -hmm. Everyone and talk with you, kifua. Mm -hmm. Like my song is better than you yours. Was. Mm -hmm. So, and takayake isikike, even you as an isa finilia chini, like we had a group that we went somewhere to perform. Mm -hmm. And the, the leader of the group was like performing three, four songs kwa album yake. And you guys, you mean like uh, two minutes. Time is up. Half a song. At a song at it's a not a half. You sing one stanza or you sing the chorus and it's like oh. Wamekata. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a a lot, lot of jealousy. Yes. Instead of accepting that we all have something to offer, yes. we all can collaborate. Mm. Yeah. And in regard to that, Labda, Dr. Caroline, are there people who may be your mentoring? Yes. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of daughters. Mm -hmm. Like for now, I, I just meet my, most of my daughters, I made, I meet them through Facebook or WhatsApp. Oh. I had a, I was launching my song mm -hmm. and another lady was in the group and she was like uh, Karo, I need to talk to you personally. I told her, you just come at my place, then we talk. Mm -hmm. she, she took time, she took time because I've been busy, I've been moving here. Yes, yeah. not even work or ministry. For me, I work from Monday to Friday, then from Friday to Sunday, I do ministry, oh. pure ministry. So she was like, uh, I come to your house, I can't find you. Then Akakuja, we talked, and I was telling her, you have to kwenda pole pole. So I have a lot of daughters and sons. Yeah, I have a group, amazing. yes, I have a group like of 30. Wow, yes. all by yourself. Yes. Ah, that is amazing. What about you, Monica? Already, yeah. other than your family that you've already actually exposed so much. I do, do a lot people? of school ministry. Mm. So I get mm. to meet very many young people. Okay. And also in church. Yes. Um, so I've been able to, f uh, to, to, to meet so many people, mm. and especially the younger generation. Yes. Now, especially the, the fact that they, they see me as a mother figure. Mm -hmm. when, they, when they see my daughter, they can be able to see a mother. Yeah. And most of them come to me opening up even with other issues mm -hmm. apart from music. Yes. But the majority, of course, come to me mm -hmm. asking questions concerning music. Others don't have, uh, they, they don't mm -hmm. have money to go to, to, to studio. And we are able mm -hmm. to talk and I am able to encourage them and, of course, uh, show them they can even use the, uh, save them pocket money they are given bit by bit but and they yeah and they're able to, to do a song yeah goal. so most of them uh, especially last year i've been quite busy mm -hmm. doing the school ministry yeah. and we um, i've been able to talk to them and you know just give them a a, a simpler way to mm -hmm. be able to reach uh to the, reach yes, yes yes oh that's very uh, yeah. keep it up that's mm -hmm. very Thank encouraging you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. the challenges that are in the music industry mm -hmm. do you think <laughs> Zi, kuna zile za wa, the ladies wana, wana face na zile wanaume wana face ama they are all the same they are not gender biased no haziwezi kuwa the same ndiko mm, tofauti kiaje kuna zile tunaweza tukachangia mm -hmm. na kuna zile zenye hatuwezi tukachangia na wao kulingana na vile tuko jinsia tofauti mm -hmm. kwa sababu kuna jinsia gender eh, tuko na, na jinsia yeah. tofauti <laughs> na jifunza hapa so, kwa sababu <laughs> 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 so, unajua jinsia yako pia kwanza ni challenge kubwa vile ulivyo pale kama mimi unaona nikija hivi si unaona niko niko kijana yes wewe ni dada mimi ni dada ya mimi nikija hapa ninajua nimekuja kufanya huduma kwanza sababu niko mtumishi siko msanii na hilo kwanza watu wazima wao wanajua hiyo niko mtumishi sio msanii ni tofauti nikija hapa ninakuja ku represent god exactly unaona sasa nikija hapa sijui kile kiko ndani ya moyo wako ya 
na kilicho ndani ya moyo wako na kilicho ndani ya moyo wangu kisipoambatana kitamtukuza mm -hmm. Mungu. Okay. So unaweza kuwa na mawazo yako mengine tofauti na mm -hmm. mimi nina kile kingine tofauti. Mm hiyo -hmm. moja ni challenges ambazo okay. watu wanapita wanakutana nayo. Hiyo ni hiyo ni ya jinsia. Hiyo ni ya ya jinsia. Ni ya jinsia. Ambapo wadada wana face hiyo. Hiyo. Yeah. Kwa sababu kuna ile what shall we call it? Labda ni harassment yeah. hivi. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Na ipo kwanza kwa wanawake iko mingi kwa sababu unajua Ebu acha tusikie. Uh, Caroline, mm. unakubaliana na yeye ama la? Yeah, nakubaliana na yeye. Like I have a story there, a lady that was coming to my house. Mm -hmm. She was like, I may record all of the music, but she doesn't have the money to pay. I may pay only three songs out of the five. Now the producer na mwambia yu, ukitaka, if you don't have money to pay me, then you have to pay me with something else. There's another way, you pay yes. kind. Yes. Mm -hmm. So she was Wadaw like... Wadaw mekua wapa, your challenge, eh? <laughs> Because we have lady producers. Yeah. It's very difficult to scare a lady producer and say, I'm going to be with you. Am I going to happen? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. But honestly, the, the quantity. It's going to happen more to the lady. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But you know what I'm saying? Lady producers, you're going to be with me. So how is she handling it? So how is she handling it? So how is she handling it? Now, what I told her, mm -hmm. I told her that uh, she come to where I worship, we do some harambe for her, mm. then we'll add what she has, uh, then we pay for her. She has told me she'll come on Sunday. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 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 Definitely, that is a better approach. And that was good yeah. advice that you gave. Yes. What about you, Monica? And especially because your daughters are in this industry. Yeah. Uh, my main challenge has been, uh, you know, when you take your music, you've done good music. Mm -hmm. And then you take it to the, to the producers or maybe to, to the presenters or whoever you're supposed to take them to. Yes. When you take them, to them, they, yeah. they will they will not outrightly like tell you oh, now you pay in kind or they'll just tell you ah yo ni audio yako iko substandard ufanya nini studio gani yeah they will just show you by the way uko down kuna venye unafaa ku up your game they'll just show you ujaiva you know and the, the enemy is really using in this and industry why are they doing, they're doing that so that you can to frustrate you because what is so it for that them? you can give in to what they want? Oh, yes, that's the end game. Okay. Up, you know what is happening in the industry right now is mm. that people are perverted. Yeah, and uh, I don't know for what reason. Mm -hmm. It's like these guys came in. Uh, there are people even I knew before, mm -hmm. and when they started DJing or uh, whatever, being presenters and stuff. Unona mtu tu wame change. It's like in a fika point, mtu wanajua, even if uyu anipei, uyu watanipea. Exactly. Apparently, by the way, it is us, the musician, who have decided to use that as a, as a actually, channel. Actually, we are the cause. Mm. The musicians mm. are to blame. Because, mm. kuna mwenye... Because everybody said no. No, kuna mwenye ya mind. Oh, you yeah. just want to sleep with me. I'm here. That, uh, that, yes. uh, that is easy for me. Me, me yeah. I will, yeah, after all. It's not like Nikki to reduce some in Asia. Yeah, we deny you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really challenged by the way. Yeah. Like in, a haribu, in a haribu, the environment, because now when yes. a producer gets used to that, mm -hmm. even the, qu the quality, yes, and by having if you at a gear. That is it. Yes. Now that's why I'm saying we are to blame. It yes. is us because you, in fact, you can find someone who is upright, mutu mwenye ako character yake ni poa, but a king ya pale. You know, they just prostrate mm. in front of him. Yeah, yeah. Well, and they terrible. don't mind and they don't care. They're mm. just willing and, they, you know. Yeah. So what will this guy do? Kama ajasi mama vizuri na yesu. Kabisa. Ata yeta kote. Ata yeta kama hako na yo nia. And you know, they, they keep presenting themselves. They keep presenting themselves. Mwingine, mm. anaona, me, I won't do that. But by the way, me, I'm loaded. So mm. me, I'll just give this guy cash bribing yeah mm. they will not call it a bribe they will just beautify it's a it's it's, yeah. it's a gift <laughs> yeah. so you see oh if you don't Lord. have that money my friend your music you will struggle. be in the archives but i like what you said Kigusile, yeah. that you sang a song and you had it being played on TV without even you being the one to push. Yes. You know, you took a gag. Nimi, Nimi, Mimi at 2016, in Kiwa, Tanzania, Nilianza quit your my interview, mm. or a deal on a TV. To put your parting shot here, I'm to love that my man is scared, discouraged. Unaza kum himiza TV. Ozaki to Nataka Kwambia Watu, Nikwamba to Juakwamba, Niuduma. Uduma Niamu. Yes. 
na uduma mimi wanapenda kuambia watu kila wakati uduma si opportunity Mm -hmm. can come and pass just like that. Mm -hmm. Uduma ni kitu. Tunaona vile nilianza yeah. 2014 mm -hmm. paka jinsi nitaingia udongoni nitakuwa ninafanya uduma. Mm -hmm. So hakuna ile mwaka wa kustaafu. Mm -hmm. Uduma unafanya paka uzee. Kwa hiyo si kitu cha ku, cha kuharakisha. Mm -hmm. Na Biblia inatuambia heri mwisho kuliko mwanzo. Kwa, kuna wengi walianza mm -hmm. after 10 years, 5 years atuwasikiagi tena. Walienda wapi? Mm -hmm. So ni vizuri ujenge foundation ya huduma yako. Mm. Ujue nimeanzia wapi na vile una grow, uwe unaelewa jinsi unavyo grow. Una mtu anapanda tu mara moja. Mm. Na gisa atakavyoshuka, bru hata pandaga tena kwa sababu <laughs> hakujua alipandaga aje na atashuka aje. Unajipata tu umeshuka. Ka, that's give us also a parting shot pole kumkatiza yeah. ni kwa sababu ya muda. Otherwise ningependa hata tuendelee na muimbe ni dadakara and give us a parting shot kwa sababu it's time up mm -hmm. almost yes. What I would love to advise the gospel minister, they are not gospel artists. Yes. One thing you are ministering, and how many people do you touch whenever you sing a song? Mm. It's not all about how much you receive whenever you go and perform somewhere. Mm. It's not all about performances. It is about ministering. You are mm. doing the work of God. Mm. How many people, how many hearts have you touched with yes. your song? Mm. To sing beton kwa sababu others are singing. We have people who are singing secular. They are just singing because mm. of entertaining. Ours is not entertaining. We are ministering the word of God mm. and we are ministering through worship. Now the Bible says that uh, when the worship goes up, goes up the blessings come, come down. down. Yeah. So that is what it should be in our hearts. Whenever we go anywhere, we should be ministering. Not we are not going there for a job. It's not a job. Mm. You are doing yani unafanyia Mungu kazi. Yes. Always learn to minister. When you give when you release your song release a song that is ministering to the yani is ministering the word to of the god people. Yes, to the people and be blessed because even yes. you you actually sold CDs even without planning to mm -hmm. monica yeah. give us a parting shot before I'll, we wrap up the show i'd like to encourage the musicians mm -hmm. your name yes jina lako ah. mm -hmm. when god when when uhuru comes to gbs mm -hmm. Everything will stand still yes. because of his name. You mean his excellency? His excellency Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because of his name. Every, every, in fact, at a thika highway. Of guys, you know. Mm. So, your name. Guard your name. Yes. Protect it by all means. Mm -hmm. You cannot afford to be a minister of the word of God. Mm -hmm. And you are compromising. Yes. You cannot afford to be a minister of the word of God. And you are ashaming the work of the cross. Mm -hmm. it, is, it, is a, it is a no no. Mm -hmm. It is an error. Yes. So guard your name. Gina imeshinda, imeshinda, you know, wealth and, and, and uh, the celebrity exactly. status and stuff. Yes. You need to it's guard your name. Protect your name. Mm -hmm. Have a character. Mm -hmm. Don't just be a, 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 an entertainer. Mm -hmm. The way Carol is saying, you, have, you are a minister. Mm -hmm. You have to understand, you, you, to understand your mandate. What did, there are, there are ministers okay. who are called to sing, to heal. Yes. Called to sing to 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 encourage others. Yes. So understand your mandate. Mm -hmm. Work towards it. Let us work with the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. Thank know you. yourself, know what you've been called to do, and then do it. The rest will follow. So thank you so much, viewers, for listening to us, being with us today. Uh, remember that uh, this was live, so you can continue to listen even after the show. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you and bye. Mm -hmm.